Hi there everybody, welcome to another video. On today's video I have this uh, VW SV, um, stands for Sports Van. This is a 1.4 petrol automatic. I'm just going to show you the location of the fuses that are shown in the manual. So if there are any hidden fuses that are not in the manual, then I can't really show you. Um, so, fuses. This is the manual here for this car. This is a 2014. And uh, if you haven't got a manual, obviously, I'll just read, read what it says here. It says, at the time of print, we are unable to provide a complete overview of the location of the fuses for the electrical consumers. This is because the vehicle is under constant development because fuses are assigned assigned differently depending on the vehicle equipment level and because several consumers may use a single fuse. You can get more information about the fuse layout from Volkswagen dealership and several electrical consumers could share a single fuse. Conversely, a single consumer could have more than one fuse. So they show you obviously some fuses here, but uh, not all the possible fuses that may be in the car. Um, now, if we look at here, fuses in the vehicle. Um, if you have a left-hand drive vehicle, the steering wheel will be here on this side, and it's just saying that the fuse will be the fuse box will be behind this cover, which will be sitting somewhere here. This is a right-hand drive vehicle, and so the fuses will be behind the glove box here. Um, and then there will be fuses in the engine bay and we're going to have a look at that as well. It does show you here the color of the fuses that you may find. Okay, so I just got interrupted, but what I was trying to say is uh, here they show you the color of the fuses that may be installed and the rating. So light brown is 5 amps brown 7.5, red 10 amps, blue 15 amps and so on. So if you, if you see a, a green fuse then it means it's a 30 amp fuse. And obviously they always recommend to change, if you're going to change a fuse, change it for the same rating fuse. Don't use a, a different one. Um, now also um, here they show you a fuse table. Uh, this here is for the one inside of the car and you also have some relays but the manual doesn't show you or doesn't tell you what the relays are for either. So again I won't really know what relay is for what if you ask me. Um, you may need to contact VW or Google search the relays that you may need. Um, so to get to this fuse box, let's have a look at this one first. Um, you will have also the list of what those fuses are for in here. So you definitely need your manual because there's no other place where you can find this information. And so you have the fuse number here and the rating here. And one thing that I missed just to mention here, but uh, it shows you here that um, amp, rate, amp rating in amperes for a J case. Um, and this is for, for the, a different type. So for example, a red fuse here is a 10 amp, but in this case it's a 50 amp. So just uh, bear that in mind from that list there. Um, it says here, fuse designs. So standard flat blade fuse ATO, small flat blade fuse mini. And then we have the JK's fuse. So, um, we're gonna have a look at that 
fuse box. So we have to open the glove box here. And you may need two hands to do this, really. <laughs> well, you'll definitely need two hands, and so will I. But uh, you need to lift this tab here to release the cover. And then there's another one on this end. Up there. So we have to push that one. Okay, I kind of pushed it. And I'm pressing, kind of leaning on the cover because I'm doing it with one hand. So now when I lift this one, the whole thing will fall down because I can't hold it. But, but this basically that's what you need to do. Um, this is the little part here with pushing and that bit there and then this arm will come out here but this just pushes back in in here when you fit this back you just uh, line you just line this up with that and it just goes back in you then you don't need to do anything you just need to push these tabs up again in order to get it back in so anyway here's your fuse box and you may see a lot of these fuses here are not available and you only have a few fuses here so the reason for that as we read it in the manual is because some features may not be available in this particular model. There might not be electric seats or heated seats or whatever and as a result those fuses are not in place. And there, here's the relays as well. And again some relays may not be there. It all depends on the equipment that your car has. So it's not going to be exactly the same as this one but that's where the, the location of the box is. That's why it's important to keep your manual safe as well. Obviously, if you bought the car without the manual, you may wanna get one from the, uh, from the dealer. And now let's have a look at the fuses in the engine compartment. That's the layout, that's the fuse box there and there's only a few fuses in in this box as well so here's the fuse book the fuse numbers and the ratings and what they're for brake light windscreen heating horn windscreen wipers auxiliary heater and um Let's go to the engine bay then. So here's the engine, here's the battery. To the right hand side is this box. Open the box. Press on the clip there, press on the clip in the back as well. Get that cover out. This little key here you can use for pulling fuses. But I'm not going to be pulling any fuses because I haven't got any issues. I'm just showing you the location of the fuses. And this is what we have here. Some relays. And, and that's it, really. So as you may be able to see, the manual shows you a few fuses that you can tackle, but it doesn't tell you what the other, are, what the other fuses are for. Because uh, I, I noticed there's more fuses here than than what the manual is actually showing us. So you couldn't go and change one randomly because you wouldn't know what it's for. Um, so again, like the manual says, you would have to get that information from the dealership. So having said that and having done that, I hope this video helps. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.